G'day everyone, I'm Melissa Hutchings, the Australian Deputy Consul General here in Houston. And I'd like to take you on a little Aussie coffee adventure. Good coffee is one of the best things to come out of Australia and into the US, and you'll now find Aussie style cafes and coffee shops popping up all over the states, including right here in Texas. And although we might be a pretty relaxed bunch, we definitely have high expectations when it comes to our coffee. It goes without saying that Australian coffee is among the best in the world, as are our baristas. Aussie Anthony Douglas holds the 2022 Barista World Championship, the preeminent international coffee competition. So how did we end up being so good at coffee? I bet you didn't know there was coffee on the first fleet that arrived in 1788, and you could also get a billy can of coffee on the Victorian goldfields in the 1850s. But coffee really started to become popular in the 1870s due to the rise of Parisian coffee shops helped by the 6pm closing of pubs instigated by the temperance movement. And the contribution of immigration to Australia's rich cultural diversity is crucial. We're home to the world's oldest continuous cultures as well as Australians who identify with more than 270 ancestries. According to the 2021 census, more than a quarter of Australia's almost 26 million people were born overseas and almost half had a parent born overseas. But when it comes to coffee, the key influence in the rise of coffee culture in Australia was Italian immigration. It's believed that the first espresso machine in Australia was installed by Rinaldo Massoni at Melbourne's famous Cafe Florentino in 1928. And with the arrival of mass Italian immigration after World War II, things really took off. Espresso bars began popping up in Sydney and Melbourne and by the 1960s were attracting students, bohemians, teenagers and even my very own parents who used to frequent the iconic and still open Pellegrini's in Burke Street, Melbourne. Coffee is now a very competitive market in Australia, with independently owned cafes and coffee shops on almost every street and in even the smallest country towns. Everyone wants to make and drink the perfect cup, whether they're in Sydney or Alice Springs or Perth. In recent years, that search for the perfect brew has taken Aussies to New York, San Francisco and yes, right here in Texas. Let's go and check some out. Well, here we are at one of the Aussie cafes in Texas. Two Hands in Austin. The Two Hands Hospitality Group was founded in New York City in 2014 by Australian Henry Roberts and has since expanded now to Austin here in Texas and also Nashville in Tennessee. So let's go inside and have a chat to Chief Operating Officer Lucy Tom, who also comes from Geelong. Thanks for having us, Lucy. Great to be here at Two Hands in Austin. You guys opened here in 2020 on South Congress Avenue and you've been thriving. Like every time we come here, the, the place is full with people enjoying their Aussie breakfast. And I should also add that the name Two Hands came from a, a 1999 Heath Ledger comedy crime film, um, which is fantastic and everybody should watch it. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about how Henry came to open Two Hands in New York? What was he looking to bring to New York City that he hadn't already found there? Yeah, I think in 2014, which is when the first Two Hands opened, there really wasn't sort of a community style cafe with great food as well. You know, that was something that Henry really wanted to bring that had that Australian culture um, and you know community sort of feel of a cafe with really great food. Terrific. Yeah, yeah it sounds and that's sort of I, I'm assuming that's probably why he chose Austin in Texas for the location of the first two hands outside of New York City. Yeah, and that was a big move for us. But I mean, Austin was such a growing and just developing city that you know it was just like a really great fit for us. And I think that that's that's proven with the community we've built here. Yeah, terrific. So Aussies know that there is something special about our coffee shops and everyone has got their favourite, but it's not just about the coffee itself, is it? There's, there's an atmosphere, there's the food. So everybody knows about how Aussies love our avo toast and our quinoa bowls, which seem to lean a little bit more to the lighter and healthier side than that you might find elsewhere. Um, is this because of the style of the coffee or the more of the sort of the, our love of the outdoors or that, that sunshine and light, or is it a bit of both? Definitely a bit of both. I think, you know, the, the coffee is sort of that lighter, brighter style. The food is high quality. We're using, as we would in Australia, you know, like high quality local produce, working with local purveyors, especially around Texas, are amazing. Um, which all leads to sort of the atmosphere and what we want to build, you know, not just in the restaurant, but in the food, the coffee and the hospitality. Yeah. And normally it is a bright sunny day when I'm here in Austin. We very rarely get overcast days like this, but you sit out here under the tree, under the lights, and it really does feel like you could be in Bondi or St Kilda or somewhere like that. Definitely a Melbourne yeah. sort of great yeah, day today. Definitely but... a Melbourne day. 
That is, you know, something that we build into the spaces as well, being sort of light and bright and yeah. airy, uh, really focusing on natural yeah. light. Yeah. yeah. Now, I'm a regular coffee drinker, but I'm not an expert coffee drinker. And I know, but I do know that when I buy a flat white, for instance, a classic Aussie flat white, that it sometimes tastes a little bit different if I'm not in an Aussie cafe. So. I might get you to explain to us what is a flat white, and I understand that it was actually created by an Australian, uh, a chap by the name of Alan Preston in about 1985? Yeah, it's definitely been around for a while. I think the I idea behind a flat white is that it's the perfect ratio of milk and coffee, you know, it's for us it can be done a little bit differently everywhere, um, but I think Australians have it pretty down pat that it's about two shots of espresso and then topped with milk and then a smaller sort of size cup so that the espresso really sort of blends and, and shows through the milk. Right, and that sort of um, helps explain how it's a little bit different in the execution of an Australian style coffee um, as opposed to sort of what you might be used to here in the States. Now I know your beans are roasted by Abbotsford Road Roasters in Brooklyn. Um, what makes them a really good fit for two hands? I mean, they're actually Australian, so the owner uh, is Logan, he's Australian. Um, it's named after Abbotsford Road in Melbourne. Um, and so, you know, we're, they have the same sort of ideology between the flavour profiles and that sort of Australian style of roasting the coffee and the blends that they create. Um, so it's just a really great relationship to have. Yeah, and do you have a special two hands blend or do you use different roasts for different styles of coffee? Yeah, so we have two blends that are, you know, two hands, um, especially for us. We have one for regular drip coffee and then one for espresso coffee, which is built a bit more to match the sort of milk and be a bit more caramel and nuttier compared to the drip coffee, which is very <laughs> bright and, bright and <laughs> <Wow>. light. <laughs> the visitors, even the, even the birds here love the two hands <laughs> coffee. So that's, um, that actually brings us straight down to non-dairy milks mm -hmm. because they're obviously becoming a lot more popular here uh, everywhere, everywhere, particularly with people who, for instance, have allergies or intolerances. Are there some that are better than others for making a great flat white or a latte or a cappuccino? Yeah, I mean, I think many years ago it was hard to find a good one, but now I think, you know, the development of everything, uh, that most of the milks are pretty good. We use some really great almond milk and oat milk that yeah. I find are really the best. They add a nice creaminess to coffee. Um, yeah, I think there's like some really good fitting ones out there now for coffee. Terrific. Well. I think the time has come. We're going to enjoy our flat white <laughs> and our long black, another classic Aussie, yeah. <laughs> Aussie coffee. And then we're going to go and check out how to uh, how flat white is made. So we'll see you in there. <laughs> so we're here with Two Hands Austin's head barista, Athena, who is going to show us how to make a classic Australian flat white. Process is super simple. You're going to pull a double shot of espresso and while that's going it usually takes about 24 to 30 seconds. You're going to steam six ounces of milk and what really makes a flat white is the texture of the milk. It's not too foamy, it's really nice, has a nice sheen to it, it looks almost like wet paint and that's how you know you've done it right. Tap any excess air bubbles out. Give it a good swirl. <laughs> and that is a flat white. Wow, that looks amazing. Look at that, and it's got its little bit of barista art on top as well. Thanks, Athena. I'm going to enjoy my flat white now here at Two Hands in Austin and uh, encourage everybody to get into their nearest Aussie coffee shop. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of Aussie coffee culture and why we want you all to enjoy it with us. You can buy Aussie coffee in store and online at all of the Aussie cafes and coffee shops in Texas, including Two Hands in Austin, Proud Mary, which is also just opened in Austin, Runaway Luna in Bee Cave, which is just near Austin, uh, two Bluestone Lay-in locations in Houston. Uh, I think there are now four LDU coffee locations in Dallas and the Aussie Grind in Frisco. You can find all of their details online. And if you're not in Texas, you can also find Aussie style cafes all over the US. You can check where they are on our embassy's website at www.usa.embassy.gov.au forward slash stay dash connected. So what are you waiting for? Find yourself an Aussie cafe and settle in for the best coffee in the world. See you later.